Alex. I was just going to change you. Can it wait? I'm on my way to see Joe. This won't take long. I have to show you something. I'm taking care of things. You both need to take care of things for the foundation, and this is where we're going to do it. We'll never have to be out of each other's sight again. Well, I'm not sharing an office with you, David. I'm sorry to hear that, but Joe has only allocated a few hundred square feet for the foundation. We need that for lab work. Yeah, I understand, but I prefer to choose my own accommodation. Well, I'm sure you would, but I'm sure you would agree that any money spent should be to hire lab technicians, develop research, find cures, you know, save people's lives, that kind of thing. And I thought that this would be a good solution, turn this office into the new headquarters for the foundation. What happens if one of us has a visitor, or we're both talking on the phone at the same time? I guess we'll just have to be flexible. I'm willing. All right, come on. Try this out for size. Come on. Now, isn't that comfy? Yeah. Good. Now, first order of business. I received a few applications for the lab technician's job. Already? Mm -hmm. How come? Well, I put the word out to various facilities, Johns Hopkins, Columbia Presbyterian, offering qualified technicians a hefty, hefty increase in their present salaries. You shouldn't have done that without consulting me. Well, we do want the very best, don't we? And to get the best, you have to pay top dollar. I suppose you're right. I knew you'd see it my way. When I put my mind to it, I can be irresistible. Not to me. That was a joke, Alex. This isn't a good idea. Oh, my goodness. Me, are you all right? Oh, my oh, 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 Yes. You're Dr. Merrick. I, I remember seeing you at the Cortland's party. Yeah? Oh, I'm Ray Cummings. I, actually, I've been trying to track you down. Why? I, I discovered we have a mutual friend. Oh, who? Excuse me. Alex, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing in my home? Your front door was unlocked. So you came in without knocking? Of course I knocked. Twice. Obviously you didn't hear me because the water was running. Get out. Listen, I just came by to check on you, all right? 
The way you ran out of my office, I was worried about you. Don't worry about me. Why is it that everything I do seems to set you off? I just came by to offer another peace offering. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, well, at least one of us is making an effort. I want you to leave. Why are you so tense? And why are you drinking, what, brandy in the middle of the afternoon? I was thirsty. Alex, if you told somebody what was bothering you, maybe you'd feel better. Oh, nothing's bothering me except you. Now get out! No, I'm not going anywhere until I get to the bottom of this. You're invading my privacy. Look, I can't make up any more for you for anything that you feel that I've done in the past. Now, Chauvin's death was a long time ago, Alex. And it is unhealthy for you to obsess about it as if it had happened yesterday. Am I supposed to forget what you did to her? I did not kill her, Alex. And I am bending over back backwards to prove to you that I am not some kind of threat. Oh, I'm so sick of this conversation. You know something? If ever we're going to, if ever we're going to make this partnership work, if ever we're going to fulfill Dimitri's legacy, you're going to have to tell me what the hell it is about me that bothers you so much. You know what bothers me? Yes. All right. You. You, your, your morals, your manners, your arrogance, your smugness. You're so smug. Your girlfriend, certainly. Why do you keep pushing this? Why can't you just leave me alone? You're the one that said that you wanted to be co-director of the Foundation. You said that you would be able to do this. Yeah, I know what I said, but the, we're not working together right yes, now. Yes, but we can't avoid each other when either. When we're dealing with the Foundation, but at other times, just leave me well, alone. Well, how are we supposed to work together, Alex, if you get upset every time that you see me? Come on, answer that question honestly, and we'll start from there, all right? Why? Why is it that you can twist that? You can twist it. No, I don't think so. Do you... Do you not want us to get along? Is that it? Well, as I recall, you're the one that said that we should work together as a team. Alex, how are we supposed to make this foundation a reality if, if you can't even put forth a little effort? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this. Could you go, please? Just leave. Why are you being so irrational? I'm not being irrational. Get out. Call me. I told you to leave me alone! 